Allora, noi in questo momento siamo sul treno da Bologna a Firenze. Sopra il sito di Trenitalia risultava non prenotabile. Tu dici magari perché i, i, tre, i, i posti sono pieni. No, i posti sono vuoti. Quindi noi siamo qui e prendiamo il treno. Saluta. Oh. Ciao. Vabbè, non ho parole. Arrivate nella stazione di Firenze, adesso aspettiamo il nostro binario, quello per Viareggio. Sei geniale! Well, I brought with me uh, 
some of the behind the scenes for the steps of making the movie. Uh, and so I can show a particular sequence uh, from start to finish if you're interested. Yeah! Yeah! Everything begins with an idea and what I'll do is I'll, I'll come to my team with, with an idea, with a plan that's very rough and I'll pitch it to them and then we'll start to workshop on it together. Uh, so, for example, I have uh, a few, this is from early on in the movie, so I know it technically is premiering tomorrow, so I'm avoiding spoilers, but I think this is early enough in the film that this is okay. Uh, I have different stages of other friends, and the earliest stage is us talking about this new character and what her weapon will be. So I pitched everything at, at a big writer's retreat, and I have some footage of us talking about her weapon, uh, when the moment that we came up with it together. Okay, you go. Oh, my God. Di questa cosa e, e ora insieme vedremo, non leggete i nomi dei file per <ride> poter. Eh, L'audio dovrebbe funzionare, giusto? Eh, allora posso doppiarli io? Allora, eh, cosa ne dite di una tizia rosa che fa le cose? storyboards. Uh, but actually, the movie was different because we created the demos first. So the next step was to write the music. So I have a very early demo, I won't play the whole thing, uh, of Other Friends. It was much slower. After that, we made a tight demo to do storyboards to. Uh, and so the next step is finished storyboards and the music, but with my scratch audio. That's right, I heard the story over and over again. Gee, it's well to finally meet her other friends. That's right, I heard the story, don't really like how it ends. Gee, it's well to finally meet her other friends. What did she say about me? What did she say? What did you do without me? What did you do? Did you play games without me? What did you play? Did you think all this time that I wouldn't find out about you? Oh. That's that. are done is to record the voice uh, and that's because I want to make sure that my cast sees the drawings as they're singing and performing uh, so I have footage of Sarah Styles in the booth performing this song <laughs>
while we were recording Sarah, uh, we also had a guest animator on this particular scene, Takafumi Hori. And uh, so Hori san finished his animation uh, just as we were getting Sarah's audio, so we put them together. And the next clip I'll show you is basically this whole this whole take from Sarah, uh, and then the rough animation from Takafumi Hori. And please uh, pay attention to there are animation charts that will flicker by. Those are telling that, that those are him describing what he wants the in-betweens to be. So keep your eyes out for those. Cioè, ehm, la, la, 
da cosa si parte per costruire tutto il resto? Cos'è lo scheletro fondamentale di un episodio? Lo storyboard è eh, appunto il soggetto prima o, o è lo storyboard stesso? Ah! Già sono la Well, I like to start with the character story and have everything else eventually come back to that, to what the characters are thinking and feeling. Um, what I'll do is I, I draw charts about what's going to happen in the sequence of episodes. So we'll look at an episode and we'll say, well, what do you need to know before this other episode that we can make an episode about to introduce that idea or to expand on that idea? And because I have this, the season arcs, I'll know where it needs to go. And sometimes they'll slide around, uh, but we try to introduce and expand on one concept at a time because there's so many concepts. And then by the time you get to the end of the season, you can talk about the eight different things you saw in eight different episodes. So we go, what are we focusing on here? What character story are we focusing on here? And then we dig into it for an episode and then we stand on the shoulders of that on the next episode and the next episode. Oh, to give an example, uh, Stephen uh, splitting into Pink Stephen and Human Stephen used to be an idea for episode 10. <laughs> we had to introduce a lot before we did that. We realized. So we instead used it in episode 162. <laughs> Non voglio io eh, monopolizzare la sua attenzione, volevo chiedervi se avete una domanda per Rebecca, secondo me avete qualche domanda, mentre però eh, arriva il microfono con le domande, eh, dobbiamo dividere il, lo, il tempo di Rebecca con le persone che non sono pronte a venire ma che hanno deciso comunque di fare una domanda sui social di Cartoon Network e infatti volevo un attimo chiederle una, una domanda che ci ha chiesto eh, Nick Alpha 05 eh, che ti ha chiesto dal, dall'Instagram di Cartoon Network Italia qual è il cartone della tua infanzia che ti ha spinta a creare una serie animata? So, there's so many, there's so many. Um, I, I grew up on Looney Tunes and wow. Fleischer cartoons, Betty Boop, Popeye, uh, old cartoons. Um, I also love The Simpsons. Um, I loved One Piece. Si vede quanto amore ha. Abbiamo già il microfono eh, a un domandatore eh, che si chiama. No, non ce l'abbiamo. Io, io credevo che stessi prendendo tempo per far arrivare il microfono nel frattempo. Ma ciao, come ti chiami? Andrea Casagrande. Andrea, da dove chiami? <ride> Bravo, Andrea. Allora, ehm, siamo della ehm, Siri Universe Cosplay in Italia, in Italia. E c'è anche il nostro fondatore, Andrea Andrea. Ci sono cinque Oggi abbiamo avuto, non è una domanda, oggi abbiamo avuto una parata di Steven e molte persone non sono potute venire. Quindi abbiamo deciso di fare, far firmare il murale dei diamanti di Pink Diamond e i murali sulla Moonbase con sia la community italiana che con tutte le persone che non sono potute venire e quindi volevamo datelo. Yes, of Vabbè, mentre andiamo a un ulteriore, a una domanda, beh, questa non è 
una domanda, hai barato innanzitutto. Mi <ride> diamo una vera domanda, io ti chiedo una domanda che ci ha chiesto il Marimun su Instagram. Oh, e qual è il personaggio più complicato da disegnare? Una domanda molto semplice, ma che io trovo molto importante. Oh, oh the diamonds. Oh, uh, uh, I, Rose is also very difficult. Rose is hair. I, I, a lot of the time when you see Rose in the show, I, I drew many of those because I feel guilty asking people to draw hair. <laughs> La dico solo perché mi piace il suo nome, si chiama Francesco Sonic. <ride> <ride> Dopo Steven Universe, dove troveremo il nome di Rebecca Sugar? Nuovi progetti spin-off? Skateboard? Skateboard, non aggiunto io. I, I can't say yet. <ride> uh, I, but I will, I will be working on something. <ride> e qui abbiamo avuto lo scoop esclusivo. Rebecca Sugar non va in pensione ha un diamantino bianco eh, eccolo posso, eh, a quanto pare si sì, ha il microfono puoi fare quello che vuoi wow. salve sono Adrien ciao Adrien grazie non è una gemma con la barba perché si è un po' con la any gem could have a beard any time they want. Okay. <laughs> so, draw every gem with a beard. And I would very much like to. Yes! Yes! yes. I... No. <laughs> oh, but it's... Yes, that's kind of Um... I would like to sing. Scusa. Ah, I would like to sing a song that I wrote for Adventure Time. Thank you. 